All right, Coach, four practices in the books. You know, you started last Friday, and you were kind of just getting the guys a little acclimated. Now you can actually start working on things you need to get done. Yeah, it was good. You know, there's a process to this. We've been doing this a while, and, uh, you know, we got some, some young players in some spots, but some experienced players. And so it was good to see. You know, I thought last night the defense we had a lot of energy and, and, and um, ran around good. I thought it was good to see after a film session the offense matched that today and made some plays. So, uh, you know, you're always concerned if one side is, is you know, dominant over the other. So, uh, you know, we we, we, we're right where we need to be, so we'll, I hope uh, the defense will respond tomorrow and we'll keep going back and forth throughout camp. You talked about your wide receivers taking a step further today, mm -hmm. especially when you have a quarterback controversy, which we can kind of a competition, which yeah. we can get back to in a little bit. But how important is it to have those wide receivers step up to make it more interesting? Right. Yeah, I thought the wide receivers, you can kind of tell it from their individual drills, getting more comfortable, and it's carrying over into one on one, it's carrying over into pass scale and team pass. So uh, today was definitely uh, a uh, step forward for the, for the wide receiver uh, group as a whole. Okay, real pleased with that. And it was very positive for the quarterbacks, too. To, to, to be accurate, you know, to be able to throw and catch with them. Things are starting to come a little bit more natural to them. So uh, it was good today from a passing standpoint. You have Kalen Weathers coming back, and he's been kind of highly touted and talked about. Ben Axline's a guy that, you know, missed some time last year. But other than that, you have a big crop of guys that are really trying to put their name on this camp and get in that depth chart. Yeah, that's one thing we talked about. I just reminded them, hey, you know, we, uh, a lot of you guys, NFL guys, are wait and see guys. You know, there's nobody that's a first round draft pick or, you know, or even third, you know, even maybe top seven rounds this year. But there's a lot of good players on this team. And that's what I kept reminding them. You know, you've got to stay hungry. Nobody's arrived yet. You know, every day out here is an opportunity to get better. Uh, you know, and some of them were taking that to heart. And, you know, you know, we talk about that all the time. In, improve yourself individually. Yes, this is a team sport, but if you improve yourself individually, you'll help your unit. You'll help that offensive line. You'll help that wide receiver core. And then we all benefit from that. Under center, you know, the guys throwing the passes. You got Gunnar Holcomb, Troy Cook, a big competition to get that number one spot. Just kind of give an update on that. Yeah, you know, I thought Troy had very, uh, Troy's had the most consistent days. Today was Gunner's best day. He was able to compete, uh, make some plays. Uh, you know, there's still some things that, you know, sometimes even I forget, even at his age, you know, he's only been with his 15 practices. Mm -hmm. And now I guess a total of uh, 19 practices. So, uh, you know, we've really thrown the whole playbook at him. There's a huge menu of plays and shifts and motions and tempos. And, you know, everything that we would do throughout the, uh, the season, we would never carry this much into a game. It's just our philosophy to bombard him right now. So it's starting to slow down. For him a little bit and uh, tonight was a good day for him. All right. Thanks coach. Thanks bud.